Okay, sixth grade, lesson 78, and this is on capacity. This is actually a really fun lesson, um, and I'm going to teach you something that will help you for the rest of your life. Okay, first thing I want you to do is draw a G, okay, and that stands for gallon. So we're going to be looking at gallon, half gallon, quarts, pints, and cups. Okay? Mm -hmm. Those are the five measurements that are most often used to describe something we're um, drinking. Okay? So, gallon, I'm going to use a G for gallon. Okay? And so, to make a half gallon, I'm just going to put this little dotted line that shows me that it's divided in half. Okay? You see that? Yep. So, how many half gallons are in one whole gallon? Two. Two. One, two, right? Mm -hmm. Very good. Okay, and this is what a half gallon looks like, just in case you were wondering. Okay, so this is half of a normal gallon of milk. Half gallon. All right? Now, let's talk about quarts. All right? You're going to put a Q right here. Some people call this the gallon man. Okay, but it makes it really simple. You're going to put four Q's inside your G for gallon, okay? The Q stands for quarts, okay? So how many quarts are in one gallon, Eli? Four. Four of them. How many quarts are in a half gallon? Two. Two. You see how you can do that? Okay, yep. so there's four in a whole gallon, and there's two in a half gallon, okay? So if someone says how many quarts are in a half gallon, you would say two, okay? Now we're going to do pints, okay? And when you do that, you're going to put two P's. It'd be like almost, um, people, some people call this a gallon house, and so these Q's are like the windows. And the P's are the people looking out the window. So there's two people looking out every window. And that P stands for pints. So how many pints are in one quart? Uh, two. Two. How many pints are in a half gallon? Half gallon? That would be four. How many pints are in a whole gallon? Eight. Very good. See how you can do that just by covering one? Okay. Very good. Now let's look at cups. Inside every P, there's going to be two I's, and those two I's are going to be C's. I like you're doing that. Okay, so two C's in every P. Got what I'm saying? Uh -huh. Two C's in every P. Okay. Now, how many cups are in a quart? A quart. Uh, cups, there would be four. Very good. How many cups are there in a pint? Two. Very good. How many cups are in a half gallon? Eight. Very good. Two, four, six, eight. How many cups woo, are in a full gallon? Uh, Sixteen. Very good. See how that works? Yep. Pretty cool. So you can come up with any of these measurements just by drawing this little gallon house. Gallon man. Okay? So, now, there are some other things that I want you to write down other than that. And that one cup that was inside the P, the two little things, yeah. one cup, and I want you to write down this measurement, one cup equals eight ounces. Okay? So let me show you what an ounce, what eight ounces looks like. Okay, this is a picture of an eight ounce right here. Okay, you see that eight? Mm -hmm. So this thing filled up almost to right here is eight ounces. So on this side it just says one cup, which is eight ounces. Okay, so this much liquid is a cup. Okay, so one cup equals eight ounces. Okay. Um, the only other measurement that I think is important for you to write down is this. One liter equals 1,000 milliliters. Now, we don't use liter and milliliters very often um, in this world, but like anywhere else other than the United States, they use milliliters and liters to describe how much of something is in there. We use ounces and cups usually. Okay? So, but this is a good thing for you to know and to memorize, okay? These two measurements. All right? Now, 
let's look at this half gallon. Okay, now imagine I don't actually have a two liter Coke, but just pretend like I did. Okay, which one is bigger? The two liter. They're actually two different measurements, right? Two liter is just slightly more. So if I had a two liter drink, it would be just a little bit more than what's a half gallon, just so you know. So I always write down two liters is um, slightly, just a tad, slightly greater than a half gallon. Okay, I'd write down those three measurements if I were you. Okay, because they're gonna come in handy um, to know what we're doing. Now, if you look at this picture on this page, you can tell that the two liter soda is a little bit bigger, a little bit bigger than the milk, than the half gallon milk. You see that? Mm-hmm. Okay, so the, it is. Two liters is slightly bigger than the half gallon. Very good. All right, so answer this for me. We've got two questions. A half gallon of milk is how many pints of milk? Half gallon is how many pints? Now you have to look at your chart. Yes. A half gallon is how many pints? Uh, four. Very good. Okay. So remember, let's do our little G and then our half. And then we have quarts. Okay. Then we have two pints in each quart mm -hmm. or two people in each window. And then in every pint, we have CC, CC for cups. Two cups in every pint. Okay, I'm going to do that real quick. Now, the question was, a half gallon, half of the gallon, is how many pints? One, two, three, four. Okay, which you got right, but I wanted you all to see that, okay? So now, listen to this. Which has a greater amount capacity? A 12-ounce soda can, okay, or a one-pint container? Okay. Um, How many ounces are in this soda can? 12, okay. How many pints or how many cups are in a pint? Uh, in one pint? In one two. pint. Two. So, one pint equals two cups. Now, and eight deuce, ounces is in one eight cup. Eight ounces are in each of those cups. So, how many ounces are in two cups? Uh, sixteen. Sixteen. So, one pint is sixteen ounces. Now, answer the question. One pint. Which bigger. one's bigger, the pint or the twelve ounce soda can? We would choose the pint. You got it. Yep. All right. That is lesson seventy-eight.